DIY with Fancy Nance. And today, I'm gonna show you in a video vlog how I painted my kitchen backsplash. And a backsplash is basically the rims around the kitchen appliances. And sometimes it comes in white, depending on if you, if you live in an apartment or you live in a custom home, then you may have been able to design your own backsplash. But in this case, my backsplash came uh, stark white and it had no pop, no color, it was just very plain and I wanted to add some accent. So what I used is some just basic, a roller um, tape. You'll need tape to tape down the corners so you don't get paint on the other parts of the wall. And I did not need to buy a full gallon at the time, but I used Glidden Professional Diamond 350 and the color I used uh, was called the dark side. Uh, basically, you can use any color you like. I chose a black because it really accents off of my cream colored walls, which is what I painted in my kitchen. Um, right here, you can see. And they are semi-gloss, all water-based paint. And this way, if food or something gets on the wall, it comes off easily. So now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. So if you've paint left over and you don't want to store an entire gallon or you don't have room, or you buy a smaller size can of paint to begin with, you actually, and I've done this many times before, you can store your paint as long as you seal it really well and you tape it down in any plastic dollar store container. And then when you want to use the paint again, you can just shake it up really well and it works just fine. I store mine in a chest on my balcony so there's no chance of any smell coming into my apartment so that's one other little notation so this is how my kitchen originally looked the walls were all white and the backsplash which you can see is between the microwave and the stove range um, is white as well and there was no pop to it um, it just was very plain and bland and I'm all for making colors match and being creative and design. So I did have new appliances eventually, but it still just looked very plain. So that is why I chose to paint. And I'm now gonna show you a closer up view of what the backsplash looks like without the paint. So now you can see what the backsplash actually is. It's that little strip between the cabinets, the microwave, and the stove. And most people don't think to paint it, but wait till you see what happens when you do. So the reason I chose a darker color for my backsplash is because I had cream walls. I have wood cabinets that are sort of an off-white with a little bit of a grain. And I have marble uh, counters, which have a cream, dark cream, and kind of a black marbly kind of color inside. And so I thought that the black finish would actually match everything, which I think it does. So here we go. I'm going to show you a little collection of my clients that gave me champagne and wine. And as we go along, I like my kitchen clean. You can see how the backsplash now pops and it really does add an accent. I also replaced my uh, white appliances a long time ago and made sure that I had darker color appliances so they would match as well. And the toaster oven at Bed Bath & Beyond was maybe like $30 to replace. It was not hard. I have a little sparkle here, which I'll show you another day how to do some accent stuff. And basically, as you can see, it just really looks good um, with my cream walls and my white ceiling. So it all kind of blends together. But if you could see the before, which I showed you, and the after, you can see what a tiny little strip of paint makes such a huge, huge difference in a kitchen. It just gives it that extra pop, as I call it. I just wanted to add that the black paint here is semi-gloss and water-based so if food gets on it for some reason or splatters it comes off very easily with 
water and a sponge. So it's just beautiful and so easy to do. Thanks for joining me. And you can find me on the web at Instagram and on Twitter at F-A-N-C-I-E-N-A-N-C. That's me, Fancy Nance. And you can find me on my YouTube channel, and I would love for you to subscribe. And that is Banter Entertainment. I will see you soon. Thank you.